Hello everyone, welcome to the 8085 SMB language programming. Today we will be doing some instructions. The first one is LDA 16 bit address. So, LDA, the full form of LDA is load accumulated direct. And uh, this is a 3 byte instruction. And it stores the data from the 16 bit memory location to register A. So, uh, what it does is, now in this case, no flags are affected. Now, what it does is like, we have, when we write LDA 8040, so whatever data is in 8040 memory location, it gets stored in register A. If we write LDA 7046, then whatever data is stored in this memory location 7046, it gets stored in register A. So, in this case, the destination register is only register A. We cannot transfer the data with this instruction to any other register only to A then we also have STA so STA the full form is store accumulated direct this uh, STA 16 bit address so this is a 3 byte instruction it stores the data from register A to the specified 16 bit memory location and also no flags are affected so suppose if we write the instruction STA 9040 so whatever data is in register A it gets stored in this memory location 9040. Similarly with STA4046, the data which is in register A, it gets, it gets stored to 4046. Now let us see some animation based on this instruction. So now here we have uh, some memory locations like we have just taken some uh, examples like at 8040, 8041. So these are this on the left side. This all are the memory locations. And the data on the memory location is also given like 8040, data is 10, 8041, data is 20, 8040, 30, 8043, 79 and so on. These are the data which are already stored. Okay. Now let us see some instructions uh, and we will see how it works. So we consider these four instructions, LDA 8041, STA 8042, LDA 8044 and STA 8046. Let us see what happens with these instructions. So, with the first instruction LDA, uh, when we write LDA 8041, so in this case, the data which is in this 8041, that is 20, it gets stored in register A. Okay, so let's see here, this data 8041, it gets stored in register A. Okay, now with the second instruction STA, uh, which we will execute now, 8042. So, STA 8042, what will happen? The data which is in register uh, A, it gets stored in the memory location 8042. This is what has happened. Now, next we see the instruction LDA 8044. So, the data which is here at 8044, that is 50, okay, it will be transferred to, it will be copied to uh, register A. So, this is what we get. Okay, this is the data. Then, with the last instruction STA 8046, the data which is in register A, it is transfer to 8046 so this is how we see and uh, in all the cases in all the four cases no flags are affected okay. so this is the instruction LDA and STA okay the destination and the source uh, with LDA the destination is always A with STA the source is always A so that's all for this particular session thanks for watching